There's a lot of challenges whenever you're a school administrator. Principals have so much on their plates. There's just a million things happening. When you're in the work at the school, you don't get a time to stop and reflect. In education, we're always looking to plan for long-term effect. I think as a principal, we're often isolated. Having a large network of people uh, from whom to draw you know, is really very beneficial. School Retool is a professional development program for school principals that help get at understanding deeper learning and change in culture at their schools. The goal then is for the principals to take what they're brainstorming in the sessions and to actually conduct these hacks. Hacking is taking a look at small things you can do right now to make positive impact, to make positive change. You don't have to budget, you don't have to plan in advance, you just go out and try it. It could be something you can go back to your school tomorrow, test it, and learn from that. We get so caught up on making these big changes and we want our school to go in this direction that sometimes we forget these little small changes that we make daily or, or weekly will get us there uh, eventually. This is framing something differently and we want you to shift your mindset. This is an experience. School Retool really encourages uh, learning through failures and regarding failures not as a bad thing but a real learning opportunity. Being involved in School Retool, it takes a time commitment. Four days across three or four months. And between the workshops, we have coaching calls, so we get to know them. I really value the coaching experience that I had with Lauren. Again, I wish I had more of that coaching in my life. One of the things that, that I was most interested in was the networking and collaborating with other principals. We give feedback to each other, like, hey, how would you present this, or how would you talk about this? We have many different activities that we bring in to get people in different minds. Mindsets. Sometimes warm-up activities that would make us feel a little bit silly. They were trying to activate our creative thinking processes and so forth, and then they actually drilled down and gave us some really specific processes to help us. The ultimate goal for all of this is for principals to impact student learning and to really motivate deeper learning in their schools. I'm Kimberly Price. I am um, the ninth and 10th grade assistant principal at Highlands High School. If it weren't for school retool, I think I would have felt overwhelmed. But I learned that you really can just do little steps at a time. It's popcorn day. So making eye contact in the hallway, moving my desk right over there, and just being out there while they change classes, little things. But oh my goodness, the difference they make. Students right now are beginning to feel a little bit more comfortable with the way the school is run. We've also had a student leadership in which students can meet to talk about any problems that they have and ways that we can fix that. I had some class meetings and I asked all my kids, what can you do to change the school? 200 students emailed me that day. And then I started seeing it show up. It changes the environment by like, kind of like just bringing that joy in our school. Kids wanting to go to school again wanting to learn, wanting to participate. Hi, I'm James Cooper. I'm the principal at Pittsburgh Perry High School. School Retool, being able to hack and conceptualize into smaller components and pieces allows us to try multiple things, show students that, hey, sometimes we fail, sometimes we succeed, but we'll keep working at it until we get it right. One of the things that I wanted to really push for was project-based learning. We came up with multiple ideas and then sharing it with the other principals. They also helped input with some other additional ideas that would be small hacks to actually try those things out. We had all of the students write about what they would do to start a business or to improve their community. Three young men, they wanted to renovate and make this basketball court a better place for their whole entire community. So the school retool, how it's really been a part of this is help our students become more creative and help students become more engaged and focused in their learning. My name is Alyssa Mick. I'm an assistant principal at Oakland Middle School. And my name is Chris Enix. I'm the assistant principal at Oakland Middle School. This school is located in New Cumberland, West Virginia. We're really uniquely situated. We drive five minutes in one direction. We're in Pennsylvania. We drive five minutes in the other direction. We're in Ohio. I would say the, the vast majority of people who are in education probably went into it because they really loved being a student in the first place. We had an opportunity to write for a grant and we really wanted to bring the Buck Institute in to train our entire faculty on the basic tenets of project-based learning. School Retool just enmeshed with that perfectly. I think the, the things that we're excited about when it comes to project-based learning, it's very student-centered. It's very student-driven. It allows for creativity among students and a lot of student choice and voice. 
I think that's the most exciting thing, is that it's about the students. One thing we do is build this network of people that will stay connected and just keep supporting each other. They're, they're amazing people. But to hear my peers think about the way that they're working with their teachers has been just eye-opening. We all have really, really similar situations and challenges. And we're all working to get to the same place. This program models what we want our students to do. It puts us through the same kind of learning that we want our teachers to learn, that we want our kids to learn. That's what we need. I definitely recommend it to other principals. Go and do this. It's a fantastic program.